Hey guys, today we are going to talk about price changes when a set releases. We are going to take Amaket, the newest set, but these price changes occur for every single set, including Hour of Devastation. So I felt like we should look at some statistics and some data to really see when would be the best time to buy something. Now, this also includes the Pro Tour, and the Pro Tour has a spiky effect on the cards, but generally speaking, the cards are going to go down. You have Gideon at $27.99, dropping to $25 a week later, then to $24, and now to $21. So overall, it has lost about $6.58, Gideon of Trials, supposedly being one of the stronger cards in the set. Now, interestingly enough, Liliana went from $15.99 to $17 to $17.98 and back down to $17.49. Very, very fun casual planeswalker. We should see her price drop a little bit more. One of the cards that, even without a good showing, is Ronos, the Indomitable. And this particular card went from 11 to 16 to 17, back down to 16. Now, one thing I want to make clear about these price trends is you do have some winners and you do have some losers, but it is interesting to see what is winning, what has gone up in price or stayed, stayed the same price and what is trending down. So Nissa has been trending down from 17 to 16 to 16 to 14. As the lands go, you have a slight trend down in the lands. A Drake Haven, a card that was spiked, hasn't really done very much. Glorious End, Cut and Ribbons, one of my favorite cards, has trended up. I believe this set is very fundamentally interesting because there's not that many modern playable cards in it. Its value is almost entirely dependent on standard and how it does well. And it didn't do so well at the Pro Tour. So the average rare slot today or this week is $2.39, which is a slight decline. There is deviation, and the deviation is actually getting less in money. So the set is pretty solid from a financial standpoint, where initially it didn't look that way. Initially it looked like the set was going to be horrible expected value-wise, but it has stabilized, and for the most, mostly it's a good set. And I feel like it's a good set because of the overall balance and the fact that some of the better cards are, are in uncommon and rare the zombie cards for the mono black zombie deck and that creates this better less variance better expected value so we are going to look at some mid-rangey cards a little later i do think amaket is a very balanced set and that's interesting because Whoever developed Amaket, they did a good job at it. The card values are very similar to each other. Rares are not, there's not one rare that you really want to get. In terms of Mythics, Gideon is finally going to go down and the other Planeswalkers are pretty much the same price. So Horse Mentor, Irrigated Farmland, uh, Okatra the True, Dread Wanderer, which has gone up considerably that's the major winner plague boucher and some root voice of descent that mythic that has just tumbled down in price this set from a financial or exp if you were to open a box there's very there's not as much variance as something like modern master 2017 and the data actually shows there's not as much variance as Kaladesh or A for Revolt or Battle for Zendikar, where you pull a Gideon or you do not pull a Gideon. You pull a Masterpiece or you do not pull a Masterpiece. There is a tremendous amount of value in these semi-valued semi, semi -valued rares 
or semi-played rares, and the fact is something like Dread Wanderer is a 4 of in one of the top decks, so people are going to want to trade for it. I like the set. Uh, my initial feeling to the set was it was really weak because none of the cards were modern playable and then therefore I wasn't going to buy any of it. But the set is balanced. The value is extremely balanced and these are retail values so you're not going to be able to sell these cards for the price that you see here but that is the price that you would have to pay TCG mids. And let's assume that you open a pack. I would like to see the rare be two to four dollars right and that's what this set is it's a lot of cards within that two to four dollars and you don't have as big of a price gap as something like battle for zendikar where it's gideon or bust or Eldric moon where it is lily or bust so overall a good set very balanced i don't, I don't know how it came out this way but it, i mean the numbers came out this way so next we're going to talk about the invocations now, as you saw from the previous slide slides where the set cards actually have stabilized quite quickly and they haven't really gone up or down as much as I expected them to do, the volatility actually on those cards is extremely low. Here in the invocations, we see a massive drop across the board. So let me re-emphasize what's happening. The set, because it's starting at lower prices than it normally would without the invocations we would have more volatility right in the normal set but because the invocations have are the hyped cards and they are the ones that have a lot of the value associated with it at, at least at the case level they take the brunt of the hit these invocations by no means were very good i believe they could have selected better ones and as you will see, Force of Will takes a $60 or $80 hit, which is incredible uh, in the last pretty much month. This is what standard should be like, <laughs> to be quite honest. They did something that I have to commend them. They somehow balanced the prices of the standard cards. And they did this by putting all the hype on the invocations. So as you see, the invocations are just dropping like dropping like crazy. But in the standard set, you have stabilization, right? Especially at the mid, you know, anywhere between the three dollars to five dollar point, you have a lot of cards stabilizing. And even though some have gone down, some have gone up. And overall, expected value is very similar as the expected value for the rare. And that's the one you gotta look at for the casual player because most likely the casual player is not going to buy a box they're not going to... getting a mythic is a bonus really but it's not something that a casual player will want so they have been able to stabilize the expected value of the standard set which is fascinating in the last four weeks not much i mean it's just a very similar values like all the cards cards are four dollars retail pretty much but here at the invocations is where we see the massive drop. I think uh, Consecrated Sphinx is the only one that went up for uh, since 420. Uh, Hazret went down $10. But you see Force of Will going down $80. That is a huge, huge. And that's why I expected, and that's typically what happens to standard cards, is that they will have a lot of variance. But variance is not necessarily something good because it's like gambling, right? What they did was they made all the gambling in the lottery tickets into the invocations. They took out some of the volatility in the actual set. Fascinating. Like, it is absolutely fascinating that this is what happened in the last four weeks. Uh, you see a very balanced expected value balance sheet. I think it was off by like 20 cents for the expected rare value from a month ago. That's crazy, right? I mean, normally we see a huge drop, but a drop has not happened really in the standard cards. It's happened in the invocations, and I believe that is how it is designed. So if I were to make a suggestion for Hour of Devastation, I would say stay far away from invocations or masterpieces, and it might be worth specking on some of these cards, actually. You know, pre-ordering is never 
it's almost never a good concept, but I guess in this point is what you pre-order. If you pre-order the invocations, ugh, you are likely a loser. I mean, even if you pick Consecrated Sphinx, you're a loser because it only went up a dollar, a dollar forty-eight. The rest of them have tanked like crazy as a percentage. Hazret, the Ferret, tanked ten dollars. That's like twenty-five percent of her price. Twenty percent of her price. And when you look at something like Force of Will, which tanked eighty dollars since release. It's not good, right? If you bought a playset at Force of Wales, you are not in a good place right now. And we see Avon Mind Center has tanked from $40 to $25 as a percentage. That is a huge, huge percentage. Uh, aggravated Assault, it wasn't really anywhere where to go. Divert is a $17 masterpiece. <laughs> Think about that for a moment. $17 you can get a masterpiece. So not only is there a lot of variance in what the current prices are, there's a lot of variance in the prices of the masterpiece. You can get a $17 one or you can get a $200 one. But it is likely from this list of cards, the only one that has gone up is Consecrated Sphinx. That went up $1.48, so it's not much to talk about. All the invocations are losers. But that has stabilized the standard cards. All the big losses that you would normally see at the standard car level right now are being applied to the invocations because pre-order wise the expected value was really put on the invocations not on the actual cards so although the cards didn't go up in price generally speaking they didn't go down that much on average smart i mean it is very very intelligent what has happened here all of the downward pressure of these cards have been placed on the invocations. So do not pre-order invocations and, do not, and trade them away as soon as you get them. But for the standard cards, it may not be such a bad idea to pre-order a set of whatever you want to play because there are, is the opportunity for it to go slightly up and the variance for it to go way down is much less. Than it in a previous set i don't know like maybe i have to go over all the ones with the masterpieces but typically when a set releases it just plummets into oblivion and that's not what happened with this standard set you might say pro tour but all of them have pro tours and still you look at gideon at 20 and the rest of the set at like five at most or 10 maybe there's a card at 10 you you ask where's the value especially in the rare slot here there is value Anyway, that's it, guys. Bye.